In this clip, we're going to construct a diagram uh, illustrating what shield volcanoes are. And we'll also talk about how they form, where they form in terms of plate tectonic setting. And we'll show some pictures of an example of a shield volcano on Earth today. So let's start by drawing our diagram. The shield volcanoes are very large in terms of their aerial extent, sort of the area of land that the volcanic cone covers, but they have very gently sloping sides. So let's draw a side view, a profile of a shield volcano with the very, very gently sloping sides coming up to the top of the volcanic cone and then the other side gently, gently sloping down the other side. And this shape, very broad, gently sloping sided volcanic cone reminded somebody of an overturned warrior shield lying on the ground. That's how they came up with the name shield volcano. The shield volcanoes tend to form when the volcano is fed from a magma chamber containing the low silica or what we could call basalt magma. So we're going to try to show that down here below the surface under the shield volcano. We have a magma chamber and our magma is going to be low silica or you could call it basalt magma. Remember we said that when volcanoes have low silica magma down in the magma chamber, they tend to erupt as lava flows or lava flow type of eruptions tend to dominate. So that's how the shield volcanic cone gets built up over time. You have successive lava flows and the lava, right, the low silica lava it has very low viscosity, so it flows very easily. That means it's going to spread out. Instead of all piling up in one spot, the runny, low viscosity, low silica lava can flow a large distance and right, build up a very, very broad, gently sloping volcanic cone or shield volcano. And of course, when the magma cools, uh, you're going to have basalt rock. Now, a good example of a place where you can go today and see shield volcanoes is Hawaii. And that's a nice place to go. So, especially if you go to the big island of Hawaii, uh, that's where you can see active volcanoes and uh, Kilauea volcano is very, very active. It has been for several decades. So, we're gonna show some pictures of that and while we get the pictures up, I want you to think about the plate tectonic setting of the Hawaiian Islands. Do you remember what the plate tectonic setting of the Hawaiian Islands is? Think about that and we'll look at a picture. Instead of a picture, let's look at this map, the uh, plate tectonic map. The Hawaiian Islands are in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. so. If you said that the plate tectonic setting for the Hawaiian Islands is a hot spot, that would be the right answer. They're out there in the middle of the Pacific plate. Plate's been moving over a hot spot. Now the southern end of the Hawaiian Island chain where the big island of Hawaii is, is right over that hot spot. So that's where we see the active volcanoes. This is a picture of a side crater called Kilauea Iki Crater on the big shield volcano on the southern end of the big island of Hawaii, Kilauea Volcano. The summit crater of Kilauea is off in the distance here. This is steam coming out from the heat of the magma up there in the summit crater. Area here erupted back in 1959 with big lava fountain forming over here on the side of the crater and building up this uh, lava rock that you see here on the side and this whole floor of the crater is all that dark black basalt rock. 
Uh, if you look, go a little bit uh, farther to the south, uh, toward the southern shore of the Big Island of Hawaii, uh, you can go over some lava flows that uh, formed a little more recently, like this one in the picture here, this black rock out on the plain leading to the coast is a lava flow that was actively flowing back in 1974. And this is all basalt rock that you can see here in the foreground. This is a road uh, that was covered with a lava flow back in the 1990s, or maybe it was in the early 2000s. There's a lot of that pahoy hoy texture in the lava rock that's covering the road. Most of the eruptions going on today are farther to the east, and on this big lava plain lava field that you see here. It's good to go at sundown to look at the lava flows or try to see lava flows because as the sun sets you start to see more of the light from the lava that's very close to the surface, that hot rock very very close to the surface underneath this lava plain. And every once in a while you'll see a pocket of lava break out and start flowing looks a lot better in the dark but it's a lot harder to take pictures then so this one is of the setting sun over the lava plain on Kilauea volcano